For the Georgia Innocence Project, 2020 started off with a bang. Kerry Robinson was GIP's first exoneree that GIP had accompanied into freedom in years. Weeks later, we moved into a new office with real windows and sunlight, and we were starting to grow. We would soon receive two unanimous Georgia Supreme Court opinions in our clients' favor. Good things were happening, and the future looked bright. But then came March 13th. The day we officially vacated our office, before we had even fully unpacked. As the COVID-19 virus spread like wildfire across the world, we worried. Would our families be okay? What about the people locked in prison? What rights would be taken? And how long would this last? So many questions had no answers. And there were more problems to come. Institutionalized racism and anti-black violence flooded our TV screens and phones for a period of five months. We became all too familiar with the stories of Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, and Georgia citizens Ahmaud Arbery and Rayshard Brooks. With so much turmoil, divisiveness, and trauma, the future appeared bleak and filled with uncertainty. But in the midst of it all, we adapted and began to work harder than ever, fighting across Georgia for equality and accountability. Together with you, we pushed for justice. While you marched in the streets and protested, GIP and partners gained access to courtrooms and prisons to fight for our clients. And before we knew it, our hard work began to pay off. A year characterized by lockdowns, separation, and loss began to also include freedom celebrations and joyous homecomings. One by one, fathers gained back their sons, Friends gained new friends. Husbands were reunited with their wives. Mothers with their sons. And brothers with their sisters. All this during 2020 and 2021. Two of the most challenging years in recent memory. You made these successes happen. And we could not have done it without your support. And as such, we want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As 2021 comes to a close, we look toward 2022 with the same level of optimism that we began with in 2020, with Divine Edmonds' exoneration being a good sign. But also like 2020, there will be uncertainty and adversity. But we know one thing is certain, whether in the bustling metropolis of Atlanta, the majestic coast of Savannah, or any one of Georgia's 159 counties, we will continuously fight tirelessly for the wrongfully convicted.